We're going to load up and head out to Tyler State Park today. Here we are, Tyler State Park. Today, I find myself out at Tyler State Park. Look how pretty this park is. Built by the, the same CCC crew that built Possum Kingdom Lake. Kind of like taking a trip back in time. We're in site number 36. Video pretty well says it all. I mean, nice. It's a big back in site. There's a lot of pull throughs. This is the lake view section. I think I said that already. Lake view, a lot of pull throughs, a few back end sites. As you can see, we don't have neighbors on either side of us by design. Of course, there's not a lot of people here on this loop. This is a full connection. 30, 50 water and sewer. Super level asphalt pad. Best of all, lake access all the way around. Level tent site here, wooden picnic table, a double lantern rig, and a fire pit, and a nice open front yard. It's kind of laid out backwards. It would have been better, you know, if the front of the RV was facing the lake, although I could have turned it around and pulled it straight in, which is probably what I should have done. Now that I'm thinking about it, next time we'll think it through a little more in depth. Of course, that would have put this strong southerly wind blowing right in the front door. Coach. We got some really nasty weather coming in tonight. And I wanted to make sure the door was on the opposite side because the wind, the weather's going to be coming from that direction.
and in case you hadn't noticed, it's really, really windy. We've got a dry line cold front moving through this evening, going to bring us some ugly weather. Of course, I've mentioned that several times already, but that's why it's so windy. But I'm going to jump on the scooter and I'm going to go visit some of the the boat ramp area and maybe get over there to the dock let's go check it out all right here we are at the boat ramp at tyler state park here we go yeah. a little bit crooked it's the boat dock you can see that it gets a whole lot of use This is a no-wake lake. And it wouldn't take a whole lot of... Oh man, that water is just so clear. I realize you probably can't see what I see, but it's crystal clear. No cast nets. All right, so I won't be using the cast net. Let's go check this out over here. drop off. Why are the drop offs always on the back end? So it's kind of a little island. Not kind of. It is a little island. <laughs> I just crossed a bridge. Be a great place to fish if it wasn't for all the cattails in the water. Know what I mean? We'll see some other stuff all right as I was coming in I noticed this that my friends is a beaver dam at Tyler State Park it looks like it's a relatively new construction but I don't know I think it's, it's kind of cool though we'll spin you around got a, got a pan slow as camper van Kevin says but the beaver dam is just upstream from... I don't understand why the beaver needs to build a dam when he's at the lake. I, I just don't understand that. I guess that's why I'm not a beaver. But this is the bridge built by the CCC back in the day. I actually have a couple of group pavilions here at Tyler State Park. This is the one that's closest to the park store. I just wonder how long they're gonna let the retaining wall fall. Just wondering. One of the things that has really impressed me about Tyler State Park is the accessibility factor. There are a number of ADA ramps. This one in particular goes down to goes down to the playground area. So we'll just go down here and check this out. It is a little on the rough side, but we can do it. Check this out. Even the disabled can get down here to the playground. That looks like fun. There's a couple of things over here that I wanted to check out and share with y'all. And one of those is down this road. 
So we'll cruise down here to the fishing dock on Brantley's Point. Let's look at this. So the two mile trail around the lake is relatively flat and has plenty of spots where you can have a picnic cast line or just sit back and take in the view. So we're right here. And apparently that green goes all the way around the lake and it's fairly accessible. I don't know, hey, I, got, I got a green light on the battery meter. I don't know, maybe we'll explore this trail over. Getting out on the fishing dock. And here we are. All right, we're gonna head over to the boat dock. Now I know that I said we were gonna go over to the boat dock, but I couldn't resist the opportunity to explore that trail that goes around the lake a little. And lo and behold, I made it to the screen shelter loop. Tyler State Park has got a number of screen shelters. Of course, they're all locked, and I don't have a key because I don't have a reservation. But I wanted to show you. You don't have to have a tent or sleep in a tent or own an RV to really enjoy Tyler State Park. This is just such a beautiful place. Let's go. I, there's something else I want us, want us to check out too while we're while we're running. Now, when I was driving around in the truck earlier, I saw this. I ended up down here. This is the Creekside Cabin Loop. Cabins, as in air conditioning. So you don't even have to sleep in a screen shelter. There's a group dining hall right up there on the hill. And a restroom facility. And I, as you come into the park, you look down into the, of course, you might not be able to see it during the summer, but as I was coming in, it's the winter, and a lot of the undergrowth is, is dead for the season. But you can see a lot of these bridges along the paths as you come in the front. Good morning. Man, what a morning. Last night, it did come a blow. No question about it. Boy, there were some folks set up in a 
tent, not where the cone is, but the next side over. They started setting up their tent last night or yesterday afternoon late when the wind was like 30 miles an hour coming out of the south and they struggled to get their tent up and then the then the, the skies opened up and it poured all night. They were packing up to go as soon as day, the, at six o'clock the dogs had to go out. At six o'clock they were packing up. But it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day today. Look at the sunrise over the lake. Stay tuned. More to come. I have journeyed across the lake where we're camped over there. There's Miss V. I'm over here at the Silver Canoe State Park Store and Patio. It's adjacent to the day use swim area, which is down there. And there's actually a swimming dock that's underwater because of all the rain yesterday. Big shower facility. So the big shower facility over there, that's closed for the season. Here, you can rent your choice of a kayak, one or two person kayak, paddle boats, they even have glittery paddle boats, row boats, and canoes. So you can spend your day, so you can spend your day floating on the lake at Tyler State Park. Man, it is just such a beautiful day here at Tyler State Park. Look at how beautiful this is. What a beautiful place. You gotta come see this place. You gotta come out here and experience Tyler State Park. Not anybody fishing. Of course, with the, all of the rain yesterday, the water's really cloudy. State Park. More to come. We are wrapping up our visit to Tyler State Park. As the sun sets, we look out upon this beautiful park. Just check that out. Now, if you can't come out here and pay a visit, you can watch my video over and over and over again, and I won't be at all upset. Hey, if you've enjoyed our visit to Tyler State Park, give me one of those thumbs up. If you thought it could use some improvements, we'll post a comment down there and let me know what I could do better. Most important, click on the subscribe button and hit that bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I load a new video. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed and have been following me. Thank you so much. I am deeply honored. With that being said, hey, y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah. Well, you see, I had, uh, had plans for this beautiful departure shot with the sun coming up over the lake, the birds chirping, and then some guy starts running the, the leaf blower at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we are leaving Tyler State Park and headed over to Caddo Lake State Park. 
let's get on the road and head on out.